Well, the weekend is here and you may be looking for a little family friendly entertainment here now with our regular family friendly movie review is Bob Waliszewski. He's with Focus on the Family's entertainment review department called Plugged In Online. So, Bob, there's a new claymation movie called Sean and the Sheep from the makers of Wallace and Gromit. Tell us about it. Well, Sean the Sheep decides he and his sheep buddies need a vacation and uh, but they have to sidetrack the farmer to make that happen and how best to, can sheep sidetrack is do what they do best and that's jump over fences and put the farmer to sleep unfortunately as he sleeps in this trailer it ends goes crashing down in the cliff and they realize they have to save him as well by the way this film is a silent movie in essence because there's absolutely not a word of dialogue there's sounds but there's no dialogue so it's not really really silent but it is in essence um Cute little movie. We gave it a four out of five. As these often go, there is some toilet humor to navigate, but I think most families will find that uh, r rather easy with Sean the Sheep. All right, four out of five, not bad. Meryl Streep's new movie, Ricky and the Flash, is coming out as well. What did you think of that one? You know, R uh, Meryl Streep's character is Ricky, a middle-aged rocker, if you will. Now, not a rocker, in, on a big stage, but she, she plays a regular gig at a small nightclub, and apparently for not very much money because repeatedly we find out she has financial problems. We also find out she abandoned her family. She had three children when they were quite young. So now they're all adults, and she gets a call from her ex saying that the daughter, there's a girl and two boys, the daughter um, is in a quite a depression because her husband left her for another woman. Would she consider coming from California to Indiana to spend some time, even though she abandoned, the ex thinks she can make a difference. Um, and she does that very thing. Now, there are some good messages here. Although everyone in this film is dysfunctional to some degree, um, and by the end of the film, they're still dysfunctional to some degree. There's definitely some, some messages about forgiveness, about second chance, about it's never too late to try to be a better parent, even if you've made some unwise decisions. Um, unfortunately, one of my biggest hangups with this film was that uh, there's three people smoking marijuana with making it look pretty cool, really. So the glamorization of pot in this film was a significant problem. Meryl Streep's moral choices, her live-in current boyfriend, and, and there's a, a scene in, with them two, not explicit, but it's like, ah, uh, you know, a little bit of language. We ended up giving this one a two and a half out of five for family friendliness. So despite some positivity, there just was a lot of content issues in Ricky and the Flash. All right. Well, the other big film is The Fantastic Four, and I understand you've got a review of that one on your website, which is also out this weekend, so folks can check that out there as well. Bob, thank you. You betcha.